Trank from a distance is definitely a lot safer than CQC. Just very simply based off how the, the controls are, you know? I think a sonar here would be good. Oh my god. The suppressor's gonna go really fast. It's already zero zero. Okay, I'm gonna try to see you see that person because we should try it out. It's not proper CQC. I thought I had it. Hold on. Just choking them out. Using them as a human shield. Various other techniques as well. But hey, if it works, it works. Which one stays asleep for longer? Sleeping or knocking out? Maybe the same. Desert face. Not any better. Okay. Let's just go. Oh, there's something there. Can we... How do you get that? Maybe we do have to drop from above for this one. There are people here? I don't want to run and freak someone out. Okay, and then we... Okay, nice. Uh, not this way. I think I hear someone's footsteps. Yeah, suppressor, nice. Okay, the thing about, like, going up like this is we can't see who's above us. Oh. Noodles! Mouse trap. It's our little storage room. What is all that? Mouse trap for attracting enemies, I suppose. Instant noodles for eating. Oh, I should probably heal up my... Thing before stuff starts rotting. Vampire bat? Giant anaconda. How are you digesting that? Tasty. Great recovery. And while I'm still in the same play session, I think the... Um, the rotting rate is pretty low. Oh, I wanted to see the mouse trap. Where was the mouse trap? This side? I really want to see the the description for this. We have claymores as well. You know what? I'm okay. I'm pretty sure it's just uh Well maybe it's for catching mice, maybe not for people. But I should use the cardboard box a little bit more. Do you think they won't notice this? <laughs> Wait. To the weapons lab, East Wing. Yeah, I mean, we're basically... Ok, 
Okay, forget about that. Actually, this wasn't that smart either because if I shot that guy without confirming that there was no one above there, that, that's also above there, then that could have been bad. I just got lucky. The suppressors, they're a little bit rare. We want to be careful about not wasting too much of it. So the the my, the times one means there is one, but the bar. So each one, each one suppressor, you can have multiple shots on it. Yeah, right. I think that's what I got confused by. Good. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a huge thing, a huge warehouse. No. Maybe it's better for us to go back to the Tiger Stripes. An entirely black face. <laughs> we'll go for the desert. Desert? Eh. Let me go back in really quickly to see if there's any spots we missed. I don't think so. It's pretty small. Are there people here? There's some kind of a cable. What is that? It's a trap, right? Oh, someone put some stuff there, waiting for you to activate that trap. A whole log that swings down at you. It's a porno mag! Good thing I am chivalrous of heart and a gentleman. I would never fall for something like that. You wanna try those mushrooms? If I wanna swing the knife around, I think I have to select the individual one, right? That's my understanding. Mushroom D. You got some instant noodles, huh? No, instant the mushrooms. Uh huh. It was invented in Japan just recently. Add some hot water and it's ready recently. To eat. It's cheap and can be stored for a long oh, time. Oh, the six days. And besides, it's delicious. It's like a miracle food. Wow. Speaking of which. Yeah. Are you going to eat that? I was planning on it. Yeah. Oh, all right. Is there some reason I shouldn't? No, that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? She wants it. I was just going to say that if you weren't going to eat it, you should bring it back to me. I've always wanted to try some. Whatever. It's mine now. Too bad. <laughs> I see you've found some fly agaric mushrooms. The fly agaric is a relative of the death cap mushroom that grows only in that region. You'll find it growing on the ground, but it's poisonous. So if you pick one up, don't eat it. Oh. If you do eat one, go into the survival viewer immediately and use cure to take some antidote. The poisons found in the fly agaric include phallotoxins and amatoxins. It says here that when you eat it, the initial symptoms include nausea, stomach pain, and diarrhea. Finally, your liver and kidneys will break down into a sponge-like substance and you die. That's Sounds lethal. Like a horrible way to die. Isn't it? Yeah. So how does it taste? Huh? How does it... Were you listening to me? The fly agaric is poisonous. It could be delicious and poisonous. It, but if I did eat it, it might taste good, right? I give up. <laughs> it, I'm just saying. It could be. But no, we, we probably want to dump that out just in case if I accidentally... I could throw it at somebody. No, it, it's good. I don't want to kill myself over something. <gasps> so 
that a rabbit? Oh, I can't harm you, little rabbit. I'll leave the rabbit alone. I have full stamina. What is that stick? They're so nice to me in the thermal view because that normally wouldn't even be thermal. I don't have to... yeah. That's a different kind of mushroom. Oh no, that's just a... That's a trap. How do I get up there? Can I get up on the log? Wow, that was close. No motion detector would have helped me there. I'm curious what's down there though, but no, not that curious. Wow, okay. This place is dangerous. What did it look like before I touched it? I didn't really see it. It was just a pile of leaves. Oh, there's so many traps here, oh my god. Thermal vision is the right call here, though. That makes it much more visible. Can they even navigate all this without getting hurt? I'm not hungry right now. I'm not. Oh, actually, my stamina is going down a bit. How's my. I've been okay. I I'm just getting hungry because I'm doing a lot of work. That's all. Have the. It's... it's edible. Hmm. Mm. Decent stamina recovery. I'll save this stuff like rations for if we actually like really 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 need it. Oh dear god. Somebody has already been caught. Is it because they wanted to read the magazines? Oh, that's ramen. It might be possible to safely disarm the traps. I'm good. Hey, dude. Hope no one cares. I can climb the trees, but do I really... Because if I climb the trees, my... Yeah, I'm super visible. It's kind of anti-intuitive because... You would think that climbing a tree would make you more hidden because people don't look up, but no, you end up more visible. Is that a trap right there? Those pile of leaves? Kind of don't want to test that. No, I don't think it is. I think there's a... Is that a hornet's nest? Some trees? Okay, I don't think we need to be this careful. I'm just trying to not die to something stupid like that. I'm like walking all over. Are we out of here? No! I walked back to the beginning! This is how forests are, they just keep walking back to the beginning. God. Yeah, this is where we found the first thing. Some leaves there. Where is the exit? Where is the exit? Here. There was nothing going on in this map. It was just traps. Okay, I'm here, guys. Sokolov is inside the lab. Look for a way in and use it to infiltrate the lab. Looks like you found a Golova. Golova? Yeah, it's a fruit that's found only in that region. It's related to the jackfruit, which is commonly found in Southeast Asia. Jackfruit, huh? Yep, he's a cannibal. Huh? 
I didn't say anything. No, Jack, I'm for... sure you. I said I'm sure you'd like it. Oh. Golova means head in Russian. It's probably called that because the fruit grows to about the size of a human head. It's supposedly pretty good to eat with a uniquely sweet flavor. The fruit itself is fairly large, so you can make a meal out of it. Golovas grow directly off the trunk of the tree. If you're running low on stamina, it might be a good idea to keep an eye on the tree trunks. Yeah, I'll have some food on me, but I feel like we're usually close enough to a forest that there's always going to be some food around. You're wearing the tiger stripe pattern camouflage, huh? Tiger stripe is a forest camouflage. As you may have guessed by the name, it mimics the stripe pattern on a tiger's coat. It was originally worn by South Vietnamese Marines. Then it caught the attention of an American military advisor, and now they're thinking of introducing it into all kinds of special forces units. It works best in places with lots of trees and grass, but it should blend in with dirt and mud, too. Oh, yeah? Well, what about this camouflage pattern, Sigint? I'll just be naked. <laughs> That's really bad for, like, what if we get bit by a snake or something? Snake, what's up? Why are you naked? <laughs> I know there's a naked option under uniform that lets you take off the upper part of your uniform, but without a shirt on, your camouflage sucks and your stamina goes down faster. You don't get any advantages whatsoever. Oh. Sure there are. Like what? It feels good. Man, Does it? you do whatever you want. I will, thanks. Just one question, though. What? Is there a way to take off my pants? <laughs> Say what? My pants, can I? Oh, hell no! This fox unit is a nut fest! <laughs> <laughs> Just messing around with you. Uh, unless. <laughs> Alright, leaf is the. No, black is the best here because we're going back into a facility. Then my face being black would be. I mean, I guess. Yeah, we could do that. Just fully black. Not even fully, kind of halfway. We're doing good. We're doing good. All right. Eva. She's busy. I thought we would run into them because didn't uh, Volgin and her go back into the facility? Ah, oh, but he was being all weird about it. <laughs> so you're wearing the black camouflage. The black uniform isn't really camouflage. It was intended to have a psychological shock effect on enemies and hostage rescue operations and stuff like that. But it should also make you pretty hard to see if you wear it in a dark environment. And it might also work on black, earthy surfaces like you'd find in swamps. Seeing black is psychologically shocking. I don't even want to continue this conversation. <laughs> Saving the game, Snake. Thank you. Snake, have you seen the movie Them? No. It's about these giant ants that appear in the desert of New Mexico after a nuclear test. The army tries to fight them off with flamethrowers. The ants were so big that they filled up the entire screen. The whole movie theater was screaming. Hmm, an ant that big could make a good meal. Yeah, well, if you find any, don't eat them. Come on, they're not that bad for you. If you end up growing huge like that, you won't have any place left to hide. Just like a girl gone. What is a girl gone? I don't know. What's going on here? Oh, there's dogs again. No. We can't kill dogs, okay? But if I knock it out, the guy's gonna realize right away. How long can I even stay hidden for? Oh, there's. Mmm, we have to find a breakage somewhere so we can go in the facility, right? The minimum. If we can't go across... What I'm scared of is the dog. Maybe it's not going to be just a sight thing because the dog might be able to smell me. Oh, this is alright so far. Although I'm not sure how far we can take it. 
whole fence is electrified. This is slow going, all right? We just gotta be patient. That is a snake. That is a snake plus some stuff there. Oh, it was gonna attack me. I think I was a little bit too close to the fence there. That's okay. That one snake was gonna attack me for sure. What was it? I see you've caught yourself a Taiwanese cobra. The Taiwanese cobra is native to Taiwan and southern China. It's quite vicious and carries a potent neurotoxin in its fangs. Be careful. If it bites you, go into the survival viewer immediately and use the cure option to inject yourself with serum. We're all right for now. Thank you. So this is a dead end, unfortunately. We'll have to go elsewhere. I don't think we should be- we should be probably rolling- Oh, they can hear that! I didn't realize they could hear the rolling, too. Well, we got a suppressor from that, so that was pretty good. Going that side. Mmm, whoa, look at my 95% hiding. I have an instinct. I want to just suppress everyone here. Because... Why not make the place safer for ourselves, right? But at the same time, I'm like... No one realizes I'm here right now. Why should I make them realize? Because if someone comes here later on... ...and they find a body, then that's gonna be... ...that's gonna tell them that, oh yeah, someone's here right away. Well, maybe I'll keep going for a little bit more. I'm not even allowed to roll. So I have to crawl around like this. 60%, I'm not invisible. Oh, oh, please, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. That guy's right there, too. Oh, oh, sh- I was looking at that dog! I was looking at the freaking dog, and then suddenly everything... So I think this is a- there's a trade-off here, because the faster you go through something, the less chance of you getting caught. But... The slower, the more methodical you try to be, the longer time the whole thing takes. Meaning more chances for you to get caught. Okay, it looks like I can actually just disable this whole thing if I use a... not a trank, but this... Mm, but it's gonna be loud. Oh, I have a trank. Or uh, I have a suppressor. So that's okay now. Which means what? Because now it's not electrified. But can I... Oh, there's a, there's a breakage right here. Okay, there's one dude there. We should probably get him. Can we get him from this distance? Nice. This is all very reliant on having suppressors. Oh, those snakes are gonna be the end of me. Oh, we're out of stamina. <gasps> the dog just woke back up, did you see? The coral snake was not bad. I can eat these things, too. Said not to be very good. Don't eat the frog. Don't eat the frog. We should try throwing something sometime. Oh, I'll have the Taiwanese cobra. What can I say? Do you think that's more nutritious than having instant noodles? That basically has no nutrition value, but then... Then again, you're eating wild snakes. Please, I beg you, just be quiet, little doggy. Can I go in the front door, or...? I think I have to go around. Oh, 
Dog woke up pretty fast. That wasn't even that much time. I think the trank... Oh, the motion detector's taking some. Yeah, it's just that the trank works differently on different types of creatures. It's built for humans, so it makes sense that for dogs it would be a little bit different. Are we good here? Is it? Lots of little creatures in the bushes. What? Ah, uh, how am I getting in? Snake, the enemy appears to be using that door to enter and exit the lab. Think you can sneak in? I can't open the door. That door appears to be locked from the inside. You won't be able to open it from the outside. But there must be some way to use the door to sneak inside. And what do you propose? Well, I, um... How about if you stand in front of the door and perform a ritual dance? A ritual dance? That's what they do in Japan when they find a door that mm. won't open. Are you serious? Of course. He certainly seems to know a lot about Japan. Yeah, but this is the Soviet Union. I don't think doing a dance is gonna make the door open. Then you think of something. You can read their info if we scroll down. I'll have to do it on a codec where the people aren't switching. How do we do a dance here? How do we do a damn dance? <laughs> Someone's gonna teach me a dance. The fact that I'm even considering this as a viable thing Maybe it's just because I'm playing Metal Gear, but... <laughs> you say there are attack dogs? Those attack dogs are Great Danes. The breed is originally from Germany. They've been used for hundreds of years as hunting dogs. As you can see, they're very large, strong, Wait, too. Wait, top secret. They've got a calm yet courageous temperament, and on top of that, they're extremely intelligent. In some cases, a trained Great Dane can be more dangerous than a human opponent. Watch out for them. Of course, they can bite you. Forget it, Snake. Forget what? You were thinking about how they taste, weren't you? <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Don't lie to me. I could tell by the look on your face. You can't see my face. No, but I can imagine it. <laughs> Don't you dare think about trying to capture an attack dog. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, yeah. So there's a high wall around the perimeter of the lab. Climbing over it probably isn't an option. But there must be an entrance somewhere. Keep your eyes open. I think we should walk around the a bit more. The best source of information about a facility is the people going in and out of it. Try interrogating one of the enemies about the entrance. To Dang. interrogate an enemy, grab him from behind using CQC and press the left stick to put your knife to his throat. Oh, I think we gotta be careful about that. Uh, I haven't gotten that one working because it's very easy to accidentally slit someone's throat right either way everyone's asleep right now so i'm not sure if this is going to be the best way to go about things maybe there is another door or something i missed somewhere the dog is awake the dog isn't gonna go anywhere so i gotta Gotta sleep you every time. Nobody left for me to interrogate. Oh, there's no more things like uh, knocking on the walls to distract people anymore, huh? Do you think there's a hidden door around the sides? Doesn't even seem like it. What? Ah! Oh! Is it this? I see. Oh, wow, okay. Dang, that was so easy to miss. It was right in the grasses, too. Glad we got that figured out. But now... I don't even want to get up. Because they'll see me if I'm crouching. Two dudes here. I want to 
try doing some other CQC, but it's so scary when they find out and then like all hell breaks loose. See, I feel like that guy's gonna see me. Let's just get that body out of the way quick. We can try CQ seeing that guy. I'm more comfortable with doing it, trying to do it, if there was only one person instead of like 50. Although some of the techniques I think definitely encourage you to try to do it on multiple because uh, stuff like using someone as a human shield. Like that works best when you have multiple people, so you can threaten someone. Okay, there's another dude there. Oh, okay. That was not meant to be like that. Okay, that worked out okay. I know you can choke him out, like how we used to do it back in 1 and 2. Let's be careful, though. Here we go. Don't want my battery to be draining. So how big- how big of a place are we talking about here? Kinda big. Kinda big. Secure the perimeter first. They don't really encourage running at all though, huh? Whenever we run, our camouflage is like literally 0%. This makes it very difficult for us to run anywhere. In fact, you can't. Kerotan, at the window. Good thing these guys do stick around. Oh! Who's that? Oh shoot, I let them- Okay, we're good. Cause he was the only guy left. I think I didn't choke him out enough, and then he just sorta... I just sorta let him go. It's good practice though. Nothing in the back here. Another one of these rooms. TNT! XM16E1 Assault Rifle. Shoulder aim with M, there's a the suppressor. If we want to be quiet, there's another option. SVD bullet. I don't have enough freaking... Wait, is there a suppressor for the... Um, sniper rifle? I don't think so. We can probably put away the torch for now. There's just so much. My backpack is too limited. I feel like I'm gonna talk about this the entire time. But we do have a lot of- we have an AK already, so we don't need this one as well, because they're both assault rifles. But I think we don't need the torch. Smoke grenade might be nice. You know what though? I, I want to... I want to hold a... I feel like people will be scared of the snakes, but they won't be scared of the frog. I know the frog is poisonous, but I just can't imagine a soldier would see that and be like, Oh my god, a frog! So if we can try, like, throwing a snake or something. So how does this work? Press something to hold, release to throw. How long blah is pressed varies distance. I'll try to, like... Oh, uh... There's no trajectory though, so we'll just have to know it. Oh. Oh dear. Are you gonna let it go right now? Could you not? Okay. <laughs> you don't have to do it immediately. I don't think we should be going through the front entrance. Um... Do you think we can break through that? Wait. I don't really care about sound here, I think. 
Nope. The kettle ton is there. <laughs> Can I talk to... Let's see, I'm gonna try calling paramedic here. I see you've got yourself a ration. No! Rations are poor... No, you told, told me about this one already. By the way, Snake. What? You know the Ocelot unit commander? Ocelot? Yeah, that's not his real name, is it? I wouldn't think so. Is it a code name? You mean like Snake? Yeah. Maybe. Why? Is that strange? No, I was just wondering why he's called Ocelot. Why is that? Fast. Well, I looked it up. Quick. And it turns out the ocelot is a wild cat whose habitat stretches from the southern U.S. down to northern Argentina. They live in a variety of different environments from tropical rainforests to savannas. The biggest ones can grow up to one meter in length. They're normally solitary creatures, and their diet consists mainly of small animals and fish. During the day, they sleep up in the trees, but at night... Yeah, uh, paramedic. Oh, right. So, the ocelot is an animal that lives on the American continent. That's ironic. But then I wondered, why would a Soviet officer be using the name of an American wildcat? Good question. Maybe it's because he's fast and agile like an ocelot. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you're right. Hmm. But why'd you go to all the trouble of looking it up? Because I was curious. Was it helpful? Uh, sure. Helpful in a I like to know trivia kind of way. Yeah, Russia generally is pretty cold everywhere, but you named yourself after like a a creature that lives in a hot place. The gauge below your life gauge is your stamina gauge. You teach me now. It shows as the name <laughs> suggests your remaining stamina. As you consume stamina, your natural life regeneration is slowed and your hands shake more. Your oh, I didn't know that. Gauge and grip gauge also become shorter. Excessively low stamina can often impede your mission objectives. Make sure you replenish stamina before that occurs. Are we depleting the food that you're actually talking about other stuff? Eat food to recover stamina. Capture plants and animals to get food. I have information on the local plants and animals, so don't hesitate to ask. Nice, but I was really... I wanted you to maybe comment on... On the kettle kettle. I don't know if you... Am I doing this right? Is she supposed to say something special? The gauge below you. No? Maybe I'll try it on another kettle tan then. <laughs> so you're wearing the black camouflage. Yes. The black uniform isn't really camouflage. Yes, you taught me that. Wearing black face paint, huh? Please Painting repeat. your face with black paint should give you a high rate of camouflage in dark areas. Yeah, except... If there's light shining on me. Pattern clothing, face paint, tactical movements. These are the elements of camouflage that will allow you to deceive your enemy. To camouflage yourself, first press the start button to check out the survival viewer. Then select camouflage and you'll see two more options, face and uniform. Choose face to apply face paint and uniform to change your field uniform. Simple, really. Make sure and choose something that'll match your surroundings. I feel like camouflage would really only work if you're standing completely still. Which goes back to how earlier I was saying, oh yeah, if you run. Oh, can we open this door now? Okay, we don't need it to, we don't need to go out, but it's nice to clear it up. Yeah, it goes back to how if you run, the camouflage is basically zero. Because people can see. Just because you're wearing black doesn't mean people can't see you. No, not the front door. Anything on this side? There's gotta be something at the very end of this, right? Hopefully not a creepy snake. Yeah! Oh god, that could have been bad. That could have been like a set down claymore. <laughs> okay, I think we've been here a while. Maybe it's time to get in the lab. Hoping it's this door. The camouflage is not the right one. I think it's too lit up here. 
Splitter? Zombie? Zombie? Why would the zombie work well here? Because only zombies work in a lab. <laughs> what about the scientist? Wouldn't now be good for the scientist? Oh, snow is even better. I could be like a Raiden scientist. Why would snow be better? That makes no... Oh, maybe I'm trying to pretend to be one of their own soldiers, something like that. I'm trying to think of like the lore reasoning behind this. Oh, my, my stamina is pretty low again, by the way. That wasn't that great. Yeah, my stuff rotted. My stuff rotted. I'll I'll leave this the milk shake. Milk shake. Milk snake for a little bit later. Am I allowed to be seen here? I don't think so, right? That's still a a thing. I, I can't be seen here. This is the front door. That guy's gonna turn around. I don't like it. Is that the washroom? Okay, that's a bigger area, so I'm actually gonna go down this way, because I get the feeling he's gonna come back... ...sooner rather than later. Did he just come back? I'm always using the slowest mode for walking, but maybe I can walk with the second slowest mode until I get a little bit closer. Okay, that's not how- I need to choke them properly. Haven't been able to do that yet. Hopefully no one walks here. Is there anybody on the motion? Uh, there was a few people. That area seemed pretty big. I'm gonna go this way first. Huh? Oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, dude! What are you doing? Ho! Oh! Hi! Oh, the other guy. Okay. Damn, that went wellish. I thought someone just came in here. <laughs> this is some Gravier idol. Again. CQC is actually fairly reliable at close range. More so than I thought. I tend to go towards stuff like, um... You must still be in this area. Fight. I tend towards using a gun, but... Just smashing them... Works too. I gotta be careful about the suppressor. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I gotta keep it on though. I gotta use it. Do you think I should wait? Just sit here a little bit? We could. But if I'm using the box, I can't see the, the sonar. Yeah, there's people here. Who's 
Oh my god. Why are you... You dummy. Full alert, yet... So that's why I wonder if I if I was wearing a scientist thing, wouldn't they just be like, oh hello fellow scientist? And could I walk around like that? What the heck? They just opened the door and hurt themselves. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this wasn't elegant, but we got it done somehow. Oh, hi! Didn't see you there. If we could clear out the whole building like this, you know what? That... That's another way to go about it, too. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's another guy in that building there. Oh, the scientist drops other stuff. They drop cure materials. So we have a lot of dead people here. Is that a problem? Oh! Hey, man. And I can open these, can't I? Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a wound. I have a bullet wound. Don't I? Let me get the kettle down first. You sure you have nothing to say about this, paramedic? That's a nasty cut you've got there. Oh, the cut's taking cuts happen precedence. when you get slashed with a knife or other sharp object. When you have a cut, your maximum life goes down. I think you've said this on one before. Severity. Cuts heal natural. Yeah. Snake, whatever happens to you, make sure you leave a descendant, okay? Are you saying you want to have my baby? No. I'm saying that in the 21st century, the genes of soldiers like you are going to be in high demand. Genes? Uh-huh. Remember when Watson and Crick discovered the double helix structure of DNA back in 1953? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> you know, they won the Nobel Prize in medicine for it the year before last? Of course, you have to feel sorry for Pauling and Franklin. They were researching the exact same thing. Sorry, I don't follow. Inside every living creature are little blueprints called genes. Through the union of the sperm and egg cells, these blueprints are transformed and inherited by the next generation. That's why parents and children resemble each other. The concept of genes was first proposed over a hundred years ago by Mendel, but he didn't know what they were exactly. For a while, it was thought that chromosomes were composed not of deoxyribonucleic acid, but of proteins called polypeptides. Later, it was shown that deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, was a biological macromolecule. Then 11 years ago, Watson and Crick discovered that DNA had a double helix structure. Yeah, this is all fascinating stuff, but what exactly does it have to do with me? The inherent characteristics of any given individual are determined by his or her genes. By duplicating a set of superior genes, a separate body with the same set of characteristics, a clone can be created. But genes don't control a person's fate. That's true. <laughs> Yes, we learned this before. But having an offspring that's genetically identical to the parent is more efficient, right? You can expect better results that way. More efficient? You can't mass produce human beings. Maybe, but now that we know the true nature of genes, human cloning is that much closer to reality. Nuclear transplanting is already theoretically possible, so one day... My genes are going to be a valuable commodity. Exactly. They'd never let that happen. Just think, even if your body dies, you survive and go on to bigger and better accomplishments. If That's you think creepy. About it, it's kind of an honor. Does that kind of technology seriously appeal to you? Well, I am a doctor. Hmm. I can't condone it on moral grounds, but I'm fascinated by the possibilities. Especially when I see such an excellent specimen as yourself. Yeah, well, thanks for the compliment, but it doesn't make me feel any better. 
Don't be so glum. It's not like it's going to happen anytime soon. Oh yeah. We just have to wait and see. It's not even yeah. He never has biological children, just clones, which is kind of I don't know how to feel about that. Why why does Naked Snake have such good genes anyway? They just saw that he's good at fighting and said, okay, your genes are the best. But he totally could be deficient in other ways that are not combat related, and they would don't care. Good. You've infiltrated the lab. The security on the inside is very tight. You'll find it difficult to look for Sokolov unless you're disguised as a scientist. Oh, damn it. Use the clothes that Eva gave you to disguise yourself as a scientist. To disguise yourself as a scientist, go into the survival viewer and select scientist from the uniform option on the camouflage screen. Just remember to remove your face paint. To remove your face paint, choose no paint from the face option of the camouflage screen. Yeah, so the camouflage thing is a little bit misleading because I was basically just looking at the numbers, but clearly you can't do that. The weapon you've got equipped now is a prototype model of the Mark 22, a suppressor equipped pistol currently in development by the Navy. It's been modified to act as a tranquilizer gun. The Mark 22 is a heavily modified special ops version of the M39 pistol used as a sidearm by the SEALs. Probably the biggest change from the M39 is that it's got a longer barrel, which allows it to be equipped with a suppressor. And it uses a slide lock mechanism. That makes it a lot quieter, but it also means you have to load a new round into the chamber by hand every time you fire. It's also fitted with tall, adjustable sights, so you can use the front and rear sights to line up your shot, even with a suppressor attached. Looks like they got rid of the magazine safety, too. Good eye. That feature wasn't too popular with guys like you who know their guns. The sheer release lever's been taken off as well, meaning the hammer won't fall even with the safety on. So I can just cock and lock. That, and you get the added bonus of not having any mechanical noise from decocking, even with the safety on. The perfect pistol for a sneaking mission, huh? Hmm. Okay, let's switch back out to the scientist. And heal my wound. I've got a freaking bleeding leg. We would have been able to get through without alarming everybody. But I think we're okay right now anyway. We got rid of everybody who cared. <laughs> Deeper cut bleeding. Who cut me? Who cut me? Burn treatment, cut disinfectant. You gotta show me the disinfectant? Haven't we seen this one already? Well, even got glasses and everything. Do you wanna lose the headband? <laughs> the headband doesn't make you look like you belong. We good? Thank you. And that's all we needed. Not looking... I guess if we do more shooting and stuff, we lose stamina a little bit faster too. You can have the milk snake. This is horrible. Horrible and no stamina recovery. We'll have the coral snake. Pretty tasty. Good. Good. Everything else is like rotten and stuff, but maybe we could throw it at people. Have the milk snake equipped. Yeah, I had the coral snake, so I'll just throw the milk snake at people. Where is the milk snake? Here we go. Okay. So don't- maybe I shouldn't have a- anything equipped either. Nice. Well, maybe no one's really gonna give a crap anymore because I got everybody. <laughs> Not everybody. Well. Okay, we don't have to obsess over this. Let's see. There is a dude there.
Wasn't there a dude here? I guess this is just a place for you to crawl in some- Oh, it's the rat! There was a little rat there. Huh. Uh, gonna leave the crawling alone for now because... I- I get the impression if you crawl... Are they really gonna take too kindly to that? Hmm, before we leave this floor, let's check out the big room on the other side. Oh, this person's gonna wake up soon. Wait, they're gonna wake up all their friends then, once they wake up. Yeah, the Zeds are going down. Oh, jeez. You can tap the door open. Not much going on here. Wait, this is another way to- Oh, we gotta go. This place is big. Can't open that. Hi! Hi, I, I am a normal- Maybe let's not let him touch me. Just, uh... He seems paranoid. Do you have any keys in there? Oh god. But the other scientists might know me better. And they might be like, hey, wait a minute. Oh, I can't take anything out. Can't touch that Kerotan. Why can't I touch that? Battery. Certainly nice to- Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, I think they, they, they do notice if you get too close. Because the scientists know who you are. Oh damn! Just because I wanted that item! Contact Sokolov later after you've disengaged the enemy. Once things have stabilized, try it again. Got it? Sokolov must have been right there. <laughs> How long do you think we can last for? At least we know where we're meant to go, though. Oh no, oh no. What do you think you're doing? What's wrong? Literally nothing. What's wrong? Oh my god, they're g he's gonna clip through the door and they're gonna see him. Hi! Who's that? No, nothing. Nothing happened. Oh my god, you dumb scientists. You dumb scientists. I just wanted your stuff. I don't think we have to care about the scientists. They don't even attack us. Hi, 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 hi. Behind you, snake! Oh, dear. Well, we're on this floor. Oh, there was a guy who was like a guard. You know what? I'm just gonna wait over there. Oh, while we're like this anyway. Can we take out? You won't let me take it out. Huh. Oh my god, you're so nosy. Just... Huh. 
Oh my goodness, there's so- Maybe I can like hide in the locker or something. Could you stop? <laughs> this guy was asking for it. He was asking for it. Gotta be careful not to be caught touching him. Oh, ration. That's really nice. This is a nice hiding spot. I just wanted to get a gun out so I could touch the freaking Kerotan. Is that alright? Just be naked very quickly, okay? Very, very, very quickly. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. That's it. For some reason, I had to take off my clothes to do this. <laughs> Thankfully, they don't care too much for... You know, oh shoot. I think this guy needs to be like... Who's there? Stop. I just wanted him to not be inside the door as he wakes up. Oh. I'm actually gonna be here. But they're gonna see me anyway, like, they, the moment they see the box, they're not gonna be like, Oh, well, this is just some random box, no. I... I have some kind of a cut or something, but it's healing... It's healing kind of normally, I think. Please, leave me alone. Return to your position. Oh, thank the lord, that took forever and a day. Nobody comes into this room, though. This is like a sacred room where they keep Sokolov. Oh. Did you say I should call Sokolov? I see you're disguised as a scientist. It suits you rather nicely. As long as you don't do anything suspicious like roll or crawl, the enemy should have no reason to suspect you. Drag Sokolov bodies. Is somewhere inside that lab. Find out where he is and make contact with him. If you want to know where Sokolov is, why don't you ask one of the people around there? Ask? Do you mean like threaten ask or ask ask? I want to say. I don't think you can Hold ask. Cuz the the soldiers you're okay with the soldiers. The soldiers don't know the scientists, but the scientists immediately know that you're not one of them. I don't know how well that would work. Ooh, that was Man, just getting into this building is turning out to be such a such a big thing. Snake, have you ever seen Jason and the Argonauts? Can't say I have. It's based on Greek mythology. There's this ship called the Argo, and it sets sail in search of the Golden Fleece. Along the way, it encounters many dangers. They run into all kinds of monsters, like bronze giants and the deadly seven-headed hydra and the vicious bird-like harpies. The most spectacular part of all was the battle scene with an army of skeletons. It was like they were actually standing up and fighting. Are you serious? If you don't believe me, go see it for yourself. Then you'll understand the magic of movies. It was totally amazing. Yeah, all right. If I make it back alive, I'll go see it. It just came out, so I'm sure it'll still be playing. It's not CG back in the day, just like a uh, Jurassic Park. All those dinosaurs were real, right? They, I don't think it was CG. I mean, they're real props, <laughs> not real dinosaurs. Snake, that's suspicious. That's suspicious snake. Why he's got a Gundam there? If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. What the hell is this? And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. Oh, he's decorated. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. 
a man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union, and the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. Ah. You're crocked, aren't you? I look so gentlemanly next to him. I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look! It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system. A bipedal tank. <laughs> a bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank. A robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. Oh. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear. <laughs> but I won't be used so easily. No. No crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic shagohard pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. <laughs> no. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? The Gundams. But a fool's in charge. Chose Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The philosopher's legacy. Haven't you heard of the philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, he somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now. My money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohan project. 
Tomorrow they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they move Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagahot is there too? Of course. Hey! You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Of course I am. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. Mmm! Pays to be nice In to people. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Oh, now we go there. Uh, this key will open that door. The red door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Because you said you had nice Sokolov, shoes. The thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! Surprisingly a very human motivation. Hmm. 